Okay, it's our first little adventure into permutations and combinations. Before we get stuck into that, we need to have a look at um, factorials, which are a really useful tool when we're working with arrangements and permutations and combinations. So first of all, I want you to have a think about um, lining up a group of six people. So you've got six positions that could be filled, and we're thinking about how we could fill those with those six people. So we could put We've got a choice of six people we could put in that first position. Once we've chosen that person, we've only got five left that we could put in the next position. So if we're working out how many ways we could do this, we'd have to multiply those together. Then once we've fixed those two, we've got four people left that we could choose from for the next uh, position, and so on, three in the next, until we've finished filling all of those boxes. So that represents how many ways we could arrange these six people in a line. That's 720 different ways. Now this particular way of um, doing this, 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2, we summarise that with this 6 exclamation mark and how we read that is 6 factorial. And it means that you take that number and you multiply it by every whole number below it. So 4 factorial would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 27 factorial would be 27 times 26 times 25 times so on and so on, all the way down to, to 1. Now, have a, take a minute to get your calculator out and look for this button. That's the factorial button on your calculator. So if you wanted to do this on the calculator, you just type in your number and then press that button. It might be a shift button, so you might have to press shift to actually find that one. It might be listed just above your buttons. So have a little look for yours now. And now we'll go ahead and have a go at these examples. So first of all, we're, we're just looking at manipulating factorials because you're going to have to be very comfortable with doing these and using them a lot. So first of all, the first one is just um, 15 factorial, so you can do that straight off on your calculator and work out what that would come to. Type it into your calculator and you get a very large number, which I'm going to write in standard form here. Okay, next one, 6 factorial divided by 4 factorial. Have a think about what that means. You can put it straight into your calculator, but you really need to understand what's happening here. So we've got 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which you can see some of those will cancel out. And we're left with 6 times 5. Okay, part C, we'll do a similar thing here. So if we expand out that factorial, this is what we're looking at. And you can see that those cancel there down at the bottom, but also that 3 times 2 times 1, that's easy to recognise, that's a 6. So that cancels there, and that's all that we're left with to make 1,120. Now, algebraically, on part D, we need to think carefully about this one. So the top, if we're taking one off each time, that's what it's going to look like. Just take a minute to read that and make sure you understand what's happening. And then the bottom will be like this. Taking one off each time, going down towards one. So if we try and cancel those things out, you can see that at the end there, the n minus 2, n minus 3, and so on, that'll be the same on the top and the bottom, so they cancel out. And we're left with the n, n plus 1, n minus 1, which we can go one step further and recognise those two brackets there as being the difference of squares, and it'd be n, n squared minus 1. That last step isn't absolutely essential. Um, you can just get to that simplified version in the, the middle step there.